And the one. And the two. <laughs> How's that for chiming? <laughs> Come on, get moving. I'll stay down here just in case. Ah, uh, we're in. We're in. You got nothing to worry about. Hospital will continue in a moment. Oh, Angel, you're a real prize. Angel found me a supplier who gives me a big, big discount on my favorite brand of scotch. Very hard to come by. I won't put it downstairs in the bar because most of my customers will. They, they wouldn't appreciate it. Oh, what's so special about this brand of scotch, then? Well, I'll educate you one of those days. Now, what was this about the money you found on the waterfront? Yeah, where did the cash come from? Anna brought it. It was scattered all over. $28,000. Well, I thought it might be part of the money that you'd lost in the deposit. Well, I certainly can't show you my name on it, but well, I'm afraid it's too much of a coincidence for it not to be mine. Yeah. And tell me, those two eyewitnesses, were they sure they saw Felicia leave a trail of cash behind? Yes, they identified her from my picture. You, were, you said you had some questions for me. I was wondering whether there'd been any other things stolen around here. I gather you're thinking that Felicia stole something else from me. Has there been any thievery going on? Well, what's the difference between uh, an embezzler and a thief? It's all the same. Well, I haven't paid much attention to my personal possessions. Do you want me to take inventory? Um, how about that white jasmine mink, the one you were going to raffle? Well, I have three furs here on the premises. Where are they? They're in the storeroom. Is the white mink there with it? Well, I presume it is, yeah. I... Would, you, would you check and see whether it's there? Yeah, the storeroom keys are in Felicia's desk. Get them for me, Angel, will you? You want me to check out the coats? Thanks. We'll be raffling the, the mink coat tonight. Mm -hmm. I don't see what this, the, the, the fur coats have to do with the missing bank deposit. Well, you know, maybe nothing. I just want to check and see whether the coat that Felicia wore the other evening is there. Well, Angel will be back with the coat in a moment. The storeroom is, is right next to Felicia's office. Duke. Uh, what's the matter? You're not going to believe this. The white jasmine mink coat? It's gone. What about the other two coats? No, they're there. Well, that doesn't make much sense. Why would somebody want to take the mink coat and leave two other valuable fur coats? I'm sorry, Duke. I gather you suspected perhaps the coat would be missing. Felicia was seen wearing the coat by those two witnesses I told you about. This is as hard for you as it is for me, I can see that. But all the evidence is just piling up towards Felicia and Frisco has run away with her. I don't know, I've worked very, very closely with Felicia. She has been the soul of integrity. I mean, she wouldn't even ask me. She wouldn't even take one hour off work without asking my permission first. Well, it doesn't make any sense to me either. Oh, you've known Felicia for a long time, Anna. I mean, can you think of any reason, any reason whatsoever, why she'd want to do something like this? No. No, she's wonderful. She's, she's generous, she's kind, she's loyal, she... Go on. Well, she... Uh... Actually, um, when I first... When I first met her, she was in the middle of this wild adventure, trying to to find some treasure that belonged to her ancestors. And, you know, it just didn't work out for Felicia, and I, I thought she'd got over the obsession. Well, is it possible she never gave up her, her desire for wealth? No. No, I, I really don't think she's that hungry for money. Well, I thought I was a... I thought I was a good judge of character. I mean, I would have sworn by that girl. I have to, to agree with you, Duke. Yeah, you and the rest of the staff, Angel. I'm sorry, Duke. Um, I'm going to go back down to the waterfront, see if I can find any more of your money. Okay. Whew. Was that a close call or was that a close call? 
I almost gave myself a heart attack when I walked in here with those boxes of cash and Anna was standing here. Let's get the rest of the cash. She bought your act, dude. You did great, kid. Yeah, <laughs> we just got lucky, that's all. I hope Felicia's enjoying that mink coat.